So I thought we would do the Reader's Digest, November 2022. It's got some really good articles in it. I'm only going to do a, a few specific ones with you. Um, let's start here where the first bookmark is. A few kind words. A passerby convinces a distraught woman not to end it all by Andy Simmons on page 10. It was 11 p.m. when Alex Conrad saw the woman on the Main Street Bridge. She was standing by the railing, peering down at the rushing Chippewa River below, and at her feet was what appeared to be her backpack. Maybe she's fishing, Conrad, then 20, thought as he continued driving the Mustang to his home a short distance away. His friend's car had broken down, so Conrad was making a quick pit stop to grab some tools before heading out to help. Tools in hand, he climbed onto his car. Instead of taking a shortcut, though, he opted to head back over the bridge. Something about the way that woman didn't sit right. Why would she be fishing this late at night in May when it's still cold in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin? As he crossed the quarter mile long bridge, Conrad saw the woman standing in the same spot. He pulled a U-turn, parked on the diagonal some 20 feet away, with hazard flashing lights blocking one of the four lanes. In case an, uh, there was trouble, he hoped another driver would take note and help. He stepped out of the car and got a clearer picture of the scene. The pants and a heavy coat, what he hoped had thought was a backpack, was in fact rope pulled by her feet. One end was tied to the bridge post, the other around her neck. And they show here the picture of Mr. Alex Conrad on the bridge where he saved a stranger's life. <clears throat> hey, what's going on? Conrad called out. He didn't acknowledge the rope because he didn't want to let on that he knew exactly what was going on. She spoke recitantly, but he kept probing, eventually pulling from her that she was going through a particular rough patch. She was jobless, not doing well in school. In short, life wasn't working out the way she hoped. Not everything goes as planned, agreed Conrad, as he started talking about the ups and downs he faced in life. As he talked, he inched closer. When she mentioned that on top of everything else, her car broke down, Conrad chuckled, well, that's the better... Then what my friend rolled his car, he said. Too much for power for him, the woman laughed. I told a few more jokes about my friends and the dumb things we've done just to get her mind off stuff, he says. Conrad is a quiet guy, not given to gabbing, but the next hour he found enough topics to conversation to keep the woman engaged and even laughing. She grew comfortable enough to give, let him get within a few feet of her. Then a switch seemingly went off. Without warning, she climbed onto the railing. Conrad reached for her. She teetered. He threw his arms around her, hauled her down off the railing. She grabbed the railing, saying, I'm not worth it. Let go of the railing, Conrad said, his heart pounding, or I'll have to yank you off, and I don't want to hurt you. Suddenly, bright lights appeared. It was the police. Someone had responded to Conrad's car being parked on the bridge, just as he hoped. The two officers took hold of the woman, then handed Conrad a knife so that he could sever the rope, tethering her to the bridge. Soon more, the police arrived, and the woman was taken to a hospital for observation. Sadly, this was not the first time someone tried to end it all off of the one city bridges. What was unusual was that Alex Conrad did. Usually at the best, we have someone who sees something odd and call us later, says Police Lieutenant Brian McMuckle-Chick. It's rare that someone gets personality, or personally, excuse me, my glasses aren't on, involved. One officer was so impressed by Conrad's actions, he suggested to consider a career as a police negotiator, Conrad declined. You can't win them all, he says, and I'd have to live with that for the rest of my life. Instead, he's going on with a perfect record. Isn't that something? How just one moment of your time can make such a big difference to somebody else. 
Now there's some more here in this wonderful book that we're going to read right here. We found a fix, the helps and how to's, entertaining advice for the Thanksgiving guests. Just because you're not a good cook doesn't mean you cannot contribute to the holiday spread. Rather than showing up with something store-bought or empty-handed, think practical. There are never enough serving spoons or at the holiday potluck or some paper towels or a bunch of containers for thankful guests to take home leftovers. The pilgrims would have, if they would have only known about the reusable dishware. And it shows this from the tasteofhome.com where they have actually made like a little basket they're going to give whoever is serving them Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, moving on. Da, 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 da. Money, dodge an annual high fee. Reaping your fanciest credit card rewards isn't as a certainty, but the hefty annual fee sure is. If you haven't taken advantage of it, it's not in the any budget friendly anymore. Downgrade to a card with a lower or no annual fee under the same issuer. It won't damage your credit the way canceling would, and you won't have to pay a fortune for the card you no longer use. Banish unwanted email for the tech. Between spam, marketing, and promotions, you cannot click unsubscribe fast enough. In Gmail, you go to settings, greater than filters, and blocked addresses greater than create a new filter. From there, you can create a filter that sends all the emails containing unsubscribe straight to spam, saving your work only real people in your inbox that the lifehacks.com oh that number two was from the pointsguy.com number four the elude the flu the health cold and flu viruses travel through airborne droplets cough sneezes heavy breaths and can survive on hard non-porous surfaces such as metal or plastic door handles light switches faucets for up to 24 hours that's why when one person catches a bug, the rest of the household usually isn't far behind. In addition to regular hand washing, have sick parties, keep a pack of disinfectant wipes in the sweatpants pocket to give those often overlooked surfaces a quick cleanup after use. Just a few mindful seconds can drastically diminish the odds of perpetuating the infection cycle. And the source is thehealthy.com. Five is baking the flour power. Any bakers worth their salt should be plenty stocked up on the flour for the bacon season. Keep it in, keep it from taking over your pantry and lengthen its shelf life by transferring it to a large square container and storing it in a refrigerator. Why square? Square containers up, take up 25% less space than round ones, says Susan Reed of King Arthur Baking. The source is rd.com. Okay, now I did like this article, so we're going to read this one. There's a little girl looking at the butterfly. Find all in everyday life. We found a fix. We associate emotions with rare experiences, but people in our daily lives can make us, can make us feel it too. By Elizabeth Bernstein from the Wall Street Journal. During the summer of 2021, Beverly Wax had an experience that filled her with awe. It wasn't a sunset, a sweeping mountain vista, or the sound of waves gently lapping on the beach to, to, that got to her. It was the sight of her son, Justin, lugging an 80-pound portable air conditioner up three flights of stairs to her Boston-area condo. Now, Wax's central air conditioning had conked out the day before in the middle of the 90-degree-plus heat wave. She mentioned to her son that she was having trouble finding someone to come and fix it. He's shown up with a new unit as a surprise. As she watched him sweat and struggle while hauling up the unit to the stairs and installing it in her bedroom, Wax says she felt a wave of gratitude and appreciation for her son. The AC touched me greatly, she says Wax, a writer and administrator assistant for a nonprofit that helps seniors. We're living through trying times almost every day. It seems we're presented with new evidence of how annoying, inconsiderate, or downright often others can be. The people who let the door slam in your face are the ones that put their speakerphone on in public so that it's easy to forget that people can 
be awesome too. Hold on, hold on. Awe is that feeling that we get when something is so vast it stops us in our tracks. It often challenges or expands our thinking. Research shows that awe experience decreased stress and anxiety and increased positive emotions and overall satisfaction in life, according to Dasher Keltner, Ph.D., a professional of psychology at the University of California in Berkeley who studies awe. It can also help our relationships, making us feel more compassionate, less greedy, more supported by others, and more likely to help others. We can be awed by people gazing back at us over Zoom. Most of us associate awe with something rare and beautiful in nature or music or a spiritual experience, but people can trigger awe too. And not just people or public hero heroes like the first responders or the famous people, such as athletes or as astronauts. Research shows that we can be awed by our nearest and dearest, the people sitting next to us on the couch, chatting on with each other in the, on the end of each phone, gazing back over at us on Zoom. Psychologists call this impersonal awe. You don't need to go into orbit or to a museum at a national park, says David B. Yaden, PhD, a research fellow at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine Center, psychologic or psychedelic and conscious research, it's in your home. Often this interpersonal awe is a response of life's big sweeping changes, such as a witnessing a baby's first steps. For Lynn Haiti, a retired educator at Nashville, Tennessee, it's watching a friend fight ovarian cancer and still relish life. Jeffrey Davis, a business consultant to in Eckord, New York, says that awe he felt watching his mom reunite with his estranged mother and take care of her as she struggled with dementia made him think more carefully about his own relationships. Rich Mellum, an educator and publisher in Stillwater, Minnesota, says he was blown away when his father, who had Alzheimer's, suddenly remembered his name and gave him a blessing shortly before he died. But interpersonal awe happens in smaller moments, too. John Baugh, a psychologist professional who lives in Guilford, Connecticut, said that he was truly awestruck, the jaw-dropping mouth open, semi-stunned effect by when his five-year-old daughter, while dining with her in McDonald's a number of years ago, when she heard another child crying across the restaurant, she grabbed the toy from her Happy Meal, walked over to the boy, and handed it to him, he says. Unfortunately, we can't make someone else behave in that. Awesome. But we can prime ourselves to notice it when they do and take steps to boost emotions' positive effects. Here's how. Question your assumptions. Do you believe in your partner's insensitive or your sibling is selfish? There may be a little truth to that, but it's never the whole tale. The story you tell yourself gets in a way of catching people at their best, says Mariana Gazzilli, an assistant instructor of positive psychology at the University of Pennsylvania. To increase your chances of feeling awed by the other person, Grizzoli suggests that you ask yourself what's going on in his or her life that you don't know about. Can you come up with an example of how that person is helping others or doing something positive? In other words, she says, become a field scientist like Jane Goodall. Name all when you see it. Blurting out, wow, that's awesome is a simple way to help you identify and remember a special experience. Savor it in that moment. Pay attention to all the details. Then tell others about it. This will reinforce your positive emotions, says Jaden, and recall it or write it down when it happens later. Studies show that the awe can be elicited again, simple by remembering the awe experience. Thank the person who awed you. This per makes the other person feel good, and it can give your relationship a boost, and it will help you too. Studies show that people who practice gratitude have the significantly higher levels of happiness and psychological well-being that they do those rather than those who don't. And Don is getting tongue-tied. After Beverly Wax's son delivered and installed the air conditioner, she made sure he knew just how his actions affected her. I've learned to be grateful for the simple daily things, she says.
And who knows, when you thank the people in your life for awing you, they just might want to do it again and again. It says this was reprinted on the Wall Street Journal, September 26, 2021. Words to the wise. It hurts my feelings when the wordle hits me with phew when I get it on the last try. That was a tweet from Colleen Aline. You're on Wordle. I'm on my 30th attempt to guess my own password. That's a tweet from Silicone Angel. Now, I believe, let me just make sure I'm right. The next thing I wanted to share with you, they have an interesting article in here about a diabetes cure. But the next thing I want to do with you is something we haven't done in a while. And here it is. Word power. Okay. Oh, I need a piece of paper. I'll be right back for the second part of word power. <laughs> <laughs> 